Say, Joy, take a look at that girl down there. Any excitement today? Oh, not a thing except that good-looking girl down there. Come on, take a look at her. Come on. Yeah, she's all right. But all women are the bucks. Hey, what's the matter? Did the girl give you the air? Again? <laughs> Some guys have all the luck. Imagine Jim Payne grabbing off a swell dame like that. I've been trying to get him to introduce me, but I guess... Why don't you make it? Make it? Well, you don't know Jim Payne like I do. He don't like competition, and especially with his girlfriend. Hey, Paul, there's a kid in the undertow out there. Clear, clear. Somebody found it. Tired to give me a little smile? Thanks. Don't mention it. How about a little kiss? Out here? Sure. Don't be silly. Why not? Come on. I won't. You won't? No, I won't. Then I'll give you one. You will not. I certainly you will, won't. and you'll like it. Say, Jim, don't you know enough to let me alone once in a while? You're a heck of a girl to be engaged to. Is that so? Well, get yourself engaged with someone else. Then. Let's see, this is the third time, ain't it? Yes, and less. This time it's going to take like a vaccination. Yeah? Yeah. Okay with me. I'm glad to hear it. Well, I'll keep it till you want it back again. I won't be wanting that. Oh, yes, you will.
What gave you a ball for the flag, didn't it? Were you watching? Was I? It's just like a movie. You're pretty brave, aren't you? Oh, that was nothing. Well, maybe you don't think so, but I do. Ice cream cones, sir. Pie pie. life-saving job. Say, how well do you know Jim Payne? I've known Jim most all my life. He's a mighty good friend of mine. And he's promised me the first vacancy. Living in a lighthouse. I bet it's romantic. It may be romantic, but it gets pretty lonesome. Well, I'd like being lonesome sometimes. Just to get away from crowds and noises and people. I've been in a crowd all my life. Gee, haven't you ever been out in the country or out on the ocean? Oh, I've been out on the bay on moonlight nights. And we had a lot of fun singing and dancing on deck. Do you like dancing? Do I, don't you? I guess I'm kind of a heavyweight. I reckon I need some lessons. Well, I'm a swell teacher. Gee, are you? Uh-huh. That's great. Say, is, is Jim Payne a particular friend of yours? Oh, no, not anymore. Uh, I haven't any particular friend now. Yes, you have. Who? You know who. Who? Me. So, there you are. Oh, hello, Jim. Uh, hello, Jim. Hello. Where you been? Well, the boat said he didn't want no hot dog or nothing. Thanks for the hot dog for my girl. For your girl? That's what I said. You heard me. Now, you lay off her. Get me? Say, listen, you can give me orders when I'm tending late. But just now, I'm a lifeguard. All right, then. Get on the job, Mr. Lifesaver. There's another kid you can pull out of the water.
that all the dancing he'll do will be to the sad sea waves. Come on, do you want to dance? I love you. I love you too, honey. What are you doing, honey? I said, what are you doing? Nothing. Well, what are you looking at? Nothing. when the fog's just right, there's a glow over there where the city is. The city with light, light, people, people, 
people, did you hear me? People who like you, people to admire you. Yes, people who want to make love to you. Sally! Oh. What's the matter with you, Sally? Sometimes I think we've made a mistake. Sometimes I think it would have been better if you'd married Jim Payne. Paul, oh, don't you ever say that again. Well, oh, I didn't say it's bitterness, honey. But Jim Payne could have given you everything that I can. Pretty close, and good times. Well, I'm afraid it has been lonesome, Sally. Lonesome? We're the longest lonesomest years I ever lived. But it won't be much longer, honey. Jim's promised me my transfer to shore duty. Oh, don't make me laugh. He's been promising that for the last three years, and he'll keep on promising it for three more years while we run up this pile of rocks. Oh, I would have quit it long ago, Sally, dear. You know I would. But all that trouble when baby came and, and sent, took so much money. And then there's those pains around my eyes. They keep coming. And I think about them sure me possibly sick and without a job. Then there's you and the baby. Oh, I know all that, Paul. It ain't your fault. There's the baby, Sally. Pretty tough on you and the baby, Sally. I should have had better sense, I guess. Oh, no, it hasn't been tough. It's a great joke, ain't it? A joke? Yes, a joke. Doing without things. Without milk, butter, eggs, clothes, shows, people, everything. Living in a lighthouse. In a lighthouse. Hear those waves dashing against the rocks? Hear them? All we 
like a dummy. I was just thinking, Sally. Yeah, you're great on thinking you are. Thinking how soon I could arrange for you and David to go ashore. Well, you're crazy. There's a best chance for us to go to shore, and you know that. Paul, what's the matter? Oh, nothing. I'm a little dizzy, I guess. Oh, don't mind me, Paul. I didn't mean anything. What you said is true, Sally. A woman's got to be with people and have pretty things. And then there's baby. I guess the lighthouse is no place for a kid. Although I was born and raised on one myself. Yes, but you're strong, Paul, and the baby's delicate. Well, the streets of New York could be better than this. Well, one of these days, Jim will get us transferred to shore. I tell it by this time next year. By this time next year. Next year, next year, next year, always next year. Oh, Paul, are you a fool? Don't you know why Jim Payne's keeping us on this godforsaken rock? Don't you? Sally. Don't you see? Oh, I can't see. Where are you? I'm here, Paul. Can't you see me? Stanley, I... Oh, I can't see. Sally. Sally. I'm... I'm pretty pet now. But you must be awfully careful. Oh, if I can only get by just this once, I'll be able to see by the next time he comes. Then I'll quit the light and get a job on shore. But I've got to stick now until after operation on my eyes because I need the money. And it's just a simple little operation. Isn't it, Sally? Isn't that what the doctor said? get by this time. Oh, we will. Don't be nervous about it now. And hurry up. Now. Come over to the table and I'll show you where everything is. Now sit down, Paul, and hurry up because Jim will be here any minute. And here's your report right here in front of you. And it's all made out. All you have to do is sign. And here's your uh, pen right here. And here's the ink. And here's one. And there's your pie. Here's your tobacco. And there's the matches. Now, Paul, here's your eye shade. And don't forget it. Now, let me see you do it. Oh, and what way did you make? 
How's that? That's fine. If you'll do it just like that, he'll never suspect. Only, Paul, when you're not riding, hold your head just a little to one side and keep that eye shade well down over your eyes. Like that. I think I know where everything is now. Now, now get up and let me see you walk over to the door. the eye shade for? On account of the light. It's been pretty bright lately. It ain't so bright. Looks to me like that wind's blowing up a storm. I plump forgot I had the darn thing on. Well, Jim, I reckon you're waiting for my report. Yes, I would like to see it. I'll go below. Take care of those supplies. While you look over my report, Jim. Okay, pal. Don't you dare kiss me again, Jim Payne. Sweetheart. 
blind. Blind as a bat. How long? Almost a month. Well, if that ain't a hell of a proposition. A blind lighthouse keeper. I've been tending the light and I'm not blind. Neither are you a lighthouse keeper. I'll have to report this, Sally. Oh, Jim, you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't put us out. How did it happen? Oh, that blow on the head when he saved the kid. You remember. And he'll be like that as long as he lives, eh? Well, there's a chance, the doctor said. Well, that's just too bad. I had his recommendation for sure duty already to send in. Don't lie. I ain't lying. I did, I tell you. Well, why didn't you then? Why didn't you? Why should I? Answer me that. I'd see him in hell first. Do you suppose a man like me likes to see himself get turned down before everybody? A man like me? You turned me down for him, didn't you? That's all in the past, Jim. No, it ain't. It's in the living present. You never changed and neither did I. Jim, what do you mean? I mean that you loved me better than you did him even when you married him. No. You did. No. You did. You no. did love me better. No. Jim, by heaven, you love me Jim, now. Don't. He took you from me, now I'm taking you from him. You're going back with me, Sally. No. Yes, you are. No. Think what it means. Friends, gay times, pretty things, dancing, Sally, dancing, and everything you were always crazy about. Listen, Sally, we go back to the beach. Remember how we used to dance together, you and me? There never was such a girl as you for dancing, was there? Was there? Oh, we'll have life and gay times together yet. What's he ever given you? Answer me that. What's he ever given you? Loneliness. Sunrises and sunsets. Wind, wind banging a shutter. Waves crashing against the rocks. Day and night. Water, water, water all around us, Jim. Tied with a rope to a blind man. Oh, it's a shame. A burning shame. But you're going back with me now. No. Yes, Sally. No, Jim, I can't. Yes, you're going back with me. We'll have loving and dancing days together yet. No. No, I can't. Yes, you can. No. You've got to. No, Jim, I can't. I, I haven't the nerve. I haven't the heart to leave him. I can't. I can't. I can't. Well, there's only one thing left for me to do, then. My duty. Duty? 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 Yeah. What are you talking about, Jim? I say, what are you talking about? Well, as a matter of fact, pal, I was talking about you. About me? Yeah. I was wondering if you're strong enough to carry on. What's the matter, Jim? Anything wrong with my report? No, pal. Everything's okay. Oh, Jim, hurry! Got to come off! Say, Jim, they want to know below if you're ready to go. Tell them yeah. All right. Sally, you're going to show with me. I can't, Jim. I can't. Yes, you can. You I can't. Leave got you. To. But the light, Jim. The light. Who will take care of the light? And Paul. I'll send someone to take care of the light. And him. But I can't, Jim. I haven't the heart. I haven't the nerve to leave. Me. Yes, you have. Come along, oh, Sally. Jim, I don't want to hurt him. I don't want to hurt him. You won't be hurting him. And besides, what a man don't know can't hurt him. Don't know when, Jim. Oh, nothing. I'm just on my way, pal. Goodbye, Paul. So long, Jim. Goodbye, Sally. Don't forget about my application for sure, duty. I won't forget this time, pal. Goodbye, Sally.
thing we did it in great shape, Sally. It'll be another month before Jim comes again. By that time, I'll be able to see. Good old Jim. It's a shame to fool him. He's been a darn good friend. Gee, he was sort of ticklish when he began to talk about my health. At first, I thought he was on to it. So I said to myself, I'll go below and check over the supplies so as I won't be giving myself away. <laughs> Did he say anything about it, Sally? About my health? Sally. Sally. Don't you hear me, Sally? They go into town tomorrow, baby. Come on, cheer up, Sally. This ain't no funeral. No, Jim, not now. Okay. Take off your hat and coat. Uh, no, Jim. All right, honey. I'll be back in a minute. Where are you going, Jim? I gotta send someone out for the light. There ain't a lot of time, neither. It'll be nearly dark when they get there.
Yes, Sally. How many times have I asked you not to come up here without me? It was time for the light. Well, you should have called me. I did. I thought at first that... What, Paul? That... Where were you, Sally? Down there on the rock. I went down the boat with Jim. And after he went, I, I was so relieved, I just sat down and started speaking. I called and called and called. Uh, I didn't hear you, Paul. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right. Wait, Paul. Uh, uh, let me go first. Oh, never mind. I can make it. What were you thinking about down there on the rocks? Well, uh, I don't know, Paul. Everything. You need Jim Payne. Jim Payne? Oh, why, uh, yes, I was just wondering what he'd say if he found out you couldn't see. Oh. Wasn't it cold sitting down there in the wind? Well, I had my coat. Oh, you did? Well, Paul, was it all right for me to sit down there and the storm coming up? You don't like storms. Where were you? Down there on the rocks. Where were you? On the rocks, I tell you. Don't lie to me. You want to show us Jim Payne. I say you want to show us Jim Payne. Yes, I did. I did. I didn't dare not to, Paul. He made me. He made me. Well, you were in his arms. And you kissed him. Yes, I kissed him, kissed him, kissed him. Gladly, willingly. I was like a starving woman gone mad, mad with loneliness, sick for pretty things, to hear pretty words, craving, craving, craving. Yes, craving Jim Payne's kisses. Yes, Jim Payne's anybody's, anybody's, do you hear me? Oh, sometimes a woman goes mad, she goes out of her mind, she doesn't know what she's doing or what she wants. Oh, I have been blind. Yes, but never so blind as now, Paul. When I got assured, then I knew, I knew the truth, and I ran away, I left him. I came back to the light. The light seemed to be drawing me back to you like a magnet, Paul. Because I, I love you. Don't lie to me. You left me for Jim Payne. You wanted his kisses. You said so. You were in his arm. His kisses on your mouth. Don't lie to me. I'm not lying, Paul. I'm not lying. Sally said she wasn't so well, and I got to worry. The light's burning. 
Yeah, come on, just as I nearly wrecked myself on the rocks. It should have been on an hour ago. Why do you expect me to okay your application for shore duty when that shows up in my report? Of course, I don't want to do it, but duty is duty. Friendship is friendship. Stand away from her! Get up, you yellow dog! Oh, you dirty sneak! You can see, huh? You can... Hey! I'll give you something to whine about! I'll fix your dirty face! Oh. Uh -huh. 